Hi guys. Hi. We back with another video. We are. And um, and a breaking news announcement. Something I have not told anyone except for you. I did yogi yesterday for the first time. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Well, not for the first time, but I keep saying every single day I want to do yoga. I want to stop eating yogi, <laughs> yoga. I actually did it. Wow. Did you want to do it with me tomorrow, tonight? Sure, I need to be more flexible. Yeah. One time we were did a Pilates or yoga from a video, and the very the first Pilates. move, she it was hard for her to get her body up, and then she gave up. Good. But then was it jackknife or something? Is that like where you? Well, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And then well, when we go play basketball, Sarah loves okay. playing basketball. There's a park near us. We'll go play basketball. She'll go play basketball. I will watch her play basketball, and I'll kind of be the ball retriever. What is that called? Ball boy. boy. The ball boy. And ball I won't girl. shoot because I can't play basketball at all. Like, I'm the worst. But, like, you don't even want to try? Like, I'm just so bad. Do you guys do yoga? It was a really easy one, but it just felt good kind of stretching my body. Do you have a physical, physical. Oh, you kind of have a physical. You have kind of a work a hoodie up there. Three colors, y'all. I love it. I love it. Um, So, today we're doing something very exciting. So, we are really excited to do this video. Um, yes. It is one of the couples from the Arsenal squad that hot couple the hot couple well, the well, arsenal well. has some really hot couples they have oh i have to look. sarah so we did viv and lisa last week we kind of looked at their relationship kind of looked how adorable they were and they did not have a ship name however mm. sarah has now come up with their ship name the official ship name is visa 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 because we were told they didn't have one so visa -Visa. and their last names really don't go don't work so, so yeah, yeah, yeah and sarah Makes likes sense. to ship do first names as ship names because you do tristan and you do yeah. smegan yeah yeah I like, I like first names so she so it's visa from here on out it it's gonna be it here first ladies and gentlemen lisa and viv pass it on i still i said this last video hashtag it visa i said last time that I really like their their dynamic, Viv and Lisa's mm -hmm. dynamic, and I just uh, Thank you. like I said, Viv is young enough to be my child, so it's just kind of like an adorable relationship. Like, I don't know if this ship has a ship name. Let us know. I don't know. I did not read Let it. No. We're gonna do Beth Mead, Danielle Vondidonk, no. and we we know Danielle Vondidonk a little bit. We did a video about her like five months ago, yeah. just for being chaotic. Being chaotic. And yeah. during that video, we realized how feisty she is. Oh, she feisty. Yeah. All right. Yes very feisty i like it i like it yeah my old boss used to call people feisty and i loved it to go she goes to feisty um and i don't know much about beth mead um other than she's playing for they're both on the arsenal squad mm -hmm. and beth plays for the england lionesses and danielle yep. plays for the netherlands national yeah. squad she's cool. a dutchie so dutchie yeah they, i did the netherlands before. she has shout out to all dutchie. my wonderful people i met there did you? Good times. So we're going to do this ship, and this is what I can gather between them. I went to their timeline that they, they've they been together, they've been linked together since about 2000, January 2017. Okay. Beth is 24, Danielle is 28. Okay. okay. Google alert. Not no, really. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> they're in a public relationship, um, and but you know, on their Instagrams, when they comment on each other, they never say... I've noticed on their Instagrams, it's not like, I love you so much or anything too froofy. No, and not a lot of kissing pictures either. You know, Samson came out with the big kissing picture. Yeah. And there was a lot of kissing. A lot of, do a lot of people or women footballers who are in Kiss. relationships, do they say, I love you so much on those platforms? Uh, oh, that's a good point. I wouldn't. Except for Crashlin because they're married. Well, yeah. Um, there are people who are actually married, maybe, but yeah, right. there isn't a lot. There's a lot of, I'm proud of yous. I'm proud of yous. Okay, um, okay. I did want to read this. Um, that Danielle, she was being interviewed and she spoke out about a speak out campaign. Okay. And she said, Beth Mead said, oh, it's Beth. Beth I said, I think if players like me and Danielle can make people feel more comfortable and proud of who they are, then it's a good thing. It creates an environment for people to be able to talk and speak about who they are regardless of what anyone else thinks. And I love that. I mean, yeah, I love that. I love That's that. Good. And I'm so like the fact that we're moving in this direction as a society mm -hmm. in regards to these things that I just love. I just love. I wanted to react to some of their pictures because okay. so right now they're on the Arsenal squad. But I just want to go through some of their cute pictures just because these are ones I just found. I don't know how I came to these ones. I went on their timeline on Tumblr and these are some of the ones I picked up. Mm, that's a cute. So isn't that a cute? Oh, I love that. I love the background. I love their teeth. Oh, Every single time too. I see good teeth, what do I say? You want braces? I want braces or Invisalign. Um, I like that. Gosh, I love her. Yeah, I just 
Such a good look. She's dimples. Oh, dimples! Uh, I mean, then it don't. Bonnie dog? Okay. Bonnie dog? See, is this Halloween? Ooh, well, it looks like a normal day. <laughs> I usually no. wear that on a normal day. That's Instagram makeup, right? Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> That's how they do it. But Danielle, she has that, that look. See, that one's cute. That's cute. They're like at a concert or something. I, I like her smile without without teeth, with and without teeth. She has such nice teeth though. Not everybody can pull off a, a, no, teeth a smile. no teeth smile. Yeah. She's got it, she's got to get it. See, look at that picture. Oh yeah. That's Danielle has babes. such a sexual, sensual. sensual face. Look at that face. Oh, yeah, you know what she so kind of looks like there? Dude. <laughs> yeah, you do. Know. Does she look like Twitch? Maria Menudo's there? Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna insert her laugh. <laughs> but yeah, look at that's such a sensual. Danielle has a face of like um, a cat face, like a sensual. Wow. Yeah, look at them just cuddling. <laughs> I like that smile. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is a cute picture. Yeah, they're cute. I like that. Look, I. Oh, green. I guess we're at a football match, but um, I don't. Does Danielle wear her hair down a lot? I don't know. That one's cute. Oh, look so how good. cute Danielle Ooh, looks. Uh, people who can pull that off and look so cute. I know. So jelly. She is like a, okay, Beth is a beautiful woman, but Danielle just is that look. I know. Look at her hair. Whoa, hair game. Look at her eyes. Look, Danielle has beautiful eyes. They have such nice teeth. Um, <laughs> that's a cute picture. I like, gosh, she looks, yeah. Holly, she looks Hollywood there, Danielle. Yeah. No, people from the Netherlands, Viv, Danielle, people from the Netherlands would always say are the best dressers yeah. on earth. They're just the best. They always just, I used to work somewhere that had um, a lot of European people come through my doors or whatever. And I could always tell, A, if you were European based on what you were wearing, and B, Netherlands European. I don't think, I think that a lot of European good. people dress good as well. Gosh, that's the best. Good. People from the Netherlands are the best dressers. I get so teoed. Turned up. Uh, that's a cute picture on the train. Uh, yeah, I was on that train before. Oh, yeah. Really God, oh. yeah, she's a babe. She looks like an actress, like another actress. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so they're Oops. adorable. So what we're gonna do, they've just released a video about a week ago of them just training at home. Okay. Um, part of the We Are Strong in, um, we YouTube page. Strong. We play strong. We're gonna get a day in a, a training life. So it's them oh, together. Gosh. And Maybe we'll take some notes and uh, yeah, I know some of this. Right? A day in a life vlog with Beth Maid and Daniel Van Here we go. Hi everyone. Hi. I guess it's just a little check in from me, hoping that you're well, your family, your friends mm -hmm. are all well, and you're, I guess, following the government guidelines in whatever country yes. you're from at the moment okay. and Good doing point. your best to prevent like that. this virus um, winning any more battles, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I really hope that you're all safe. We are. We're safe. Watch it. Yeah, she's cute. Came at home with that. I'm going to show you what I'm doing in my isolated time. Uh, luckily for me, uh, I'm still being able to do rehab, so yeah, I'm hopefully going to get back on the pitch. She's on the rehab, then, okay. Yeah, whenever games continue, because okay. I know I'm missing my football, watching football, and I'm sure you guys are too. Yeah, yeah so I'm just going to show you a little bit what I'm doing at the moment, and I'm keeping myself occupied. Okay. Okay, so um, at the moment in my free time, puzzles. I'm doing Sarah a jigsaw loves puzzles. of Piccadilly Square That's in like London. A hard one. Yes. I actually haven't done it since I was a kid, so actually it's quite nice. A lot quite of Quite relaxing. Know. This is day three. I hate puzzles. Uh, <laughs> how well I'm doing so me. far. Not too bad. It is harder than it looks. No, it looks hard. <laughs> day three is not mm -hmm. looking too shabby. So, as I said in my video yesterday that we were doing rehab and stuff at Arsenal, um, due to the new guidelines, uh, we aren't allowed anymore, mm. so we've had to make our little the smart home stuff, home. stuff yeah. that we can do and work out. So we've got little stations, um, we've got a boxing we have some gloves. for a little bit of cardio, we weights, core Thank stuff, you know. press up, proprioception, what we've got to do as part of our rehab, you know, to try and stabilise everything. And the ice machine that we're a little bit obsessed that with at the moment for our my knee. Uh, okay, punch. Those pants are so cute. Dan's pants. Oh yeah, I like this. Jazz. Yeah. Swish. Yeah. Look at her cute jazz. <laughs> Is that for her knee or for her hip? That's a cool little, almost like it looks like a dancer's turn. Turner. Uppercut. Oh yeah, they look good. Yeah. Look at Danielle's cute bunches. It's so funny you would think you need your arms for soccer, but I guess that's a whole body kind of thing. Right. Ugh. Well, you do need to throw the ball in. Uh, oh, you're smart. You're <laughs> good. You're good. Hook, hook. I wonder if their neighbors are like, um, what are you guys doing? <laughs> they probably know their neighbors are superstars though. I don't think they can hear them exercising. 
You know, but sometimes when you hit things, like if you're hitting oh, a punch, okay, you can hear that yeah. punch. Oh, let's let him go. Jab, hook. Ugh. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so because I'm injured at the moment, mm. I've got to use the game ready um, every day to reduce the swelling, mm. help my knee. Yeah, my freezer's not big enough to keep the ice in right now, so mm. at the moment, thanks to Arsenal, I've got an ice bucket filled with ice cubes <laughs> and nice. try to keep it cool with water because actually the so weather's pretty. quite warm at the moment outside, so yeah, a little bit of a struggle to keep some ice, but yeah, it's got to be done. Yeah. And yeah got to find ways to be doing these things right now. Love it. She's from Northern. I, yoga time. Yoga time. Oh, I did yoga today. This is advanced yoga. I did very, very beginner yoga. Hmm. Oh, that's, yoga is so like, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yoga is so peaceful. You know what I mean? I know. I need some yoga in my life. Yes. Also yogurt. Ooh. <laughs> yogurt. I love it. <gasps> Oh, I like the shorts. Okay, it's getting a little bit more hard now, so I'm not gonna let you watch. <laughs> yeah, this is an Arsenal team yoga uh, session. Oh, I wonder if they're zooming it in. All joined in and secret. Yes, secret. So gonna not miss any more. See ya. Bye. Okay, mm. guys. So this you is good. Ooh, end yeah. of day three. Yeah, I'm hoping to be complete yeah. by tomorrow, but yeah, a little bit stressful. Yeah. But stressful. That's why I hate puzzles. Like it's so. Time. I love puzzles. Yeah. Okay, so I'm. In She's cooking to become a chef. I love cooking day. segments. Yeah, I'm going to be making cheese scones. They're probably not cheese the healthiest scones. thing, but we're allowed to treat once in a while. Oh, That's yeah, to treat yourself. Yes. My mixing bowl, yes. my rolling pin, some baking powder, salt, a cheese grater, self raising flour, measuring glass. Oh, I like to get measuring glass. Yeah. It's like they weigh them all. Some butter and some In the milk. UK, you weigh it. No, no. Yeah, on a scale. I'm about to measure my flour out, as like you can that. see here. We'd use it for a regular glass. <laughs> Yeah. So it's quite yeah, a lot. Some juice in there. <laughs> the top. This makes more two hundred and twenty five. So it's need to go just above two hundred. There you go. Yeah, we'll say that's about right. <laughs> and into the bowl she goes. Okay, a tablespoon of baking powder. Mm. I get so nervous. Where did she learn how to cook too? Her and Viv both can cook. They're so young. Mix that in. Sarah, I just cook. I know. I know. Don't worry. People who are good at everything sometimes are good at everything. And she washed her hands. <laughs> okay, some uh, stock butter. I always use this. It reminds me of my grand butter. Birthday when I was younger. That's good. Love butter. Stork, bring it in. No. One. Two. One, two. Three. Three. Right, I've got to mix that in now. I know it's looking good. Just mix oh, that in. Oh, I nice. love that with the fingers. Add yes. The main ingredient in. Feel cheese that. to the mix. Oh, cheese. Um, you put more cheese in that. I'm going to mix that around again. Orange. I'd have it up with cheese. Mixes nicely. Yep. Don't know if you see. Guys, I'm not the world's best chef, so don't you? No, me. she you are. I've added a little okay. bit of milk yeah. to my mix, so it's all stuck together, and I've floured the top, so now I'm going to roll and pin over and I'm cut Ooh. them all out into there. Those look really good. I'm going to add a they're so perfect cheese looking. Mm -hmm. they look and then they're going to go into the cookies. They do look like cookies. Which I've already oh, preheated, 180 degrees, so hopefully they rise. Fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so cheese mm -hmm. on the top, all ready to go in to one. Mm -hmm. the oven. Pray for Beth's scones to come out and actually look like a scone. Let's see. <laughs> I believe in you. So the you scones go. have come out of oh, the oven. Those look at the cheese I on the top. I did myself raising flour and it's it says it's got a lighter bagel. bake. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not as big as they're probably meant to be, but they still look and smell great. Oh, but they they that's my attempt for cooking. This is going to make Sarah want to cook bake now. Maybe I'll try again with a bit of Show us what you've got. Taste tester who's trying to get a little bit of sun out the window. She's like in a trance, like enjoying it. Can you tell me if they taste better than the look? They look good. They look really oh, good. Thumbs up. One up. Okay, so day four jigsaw watch. What's that? I want to say completed, but get all the way to the end. Oh my god, that is the <gasps> worst oh, thing ever. What the heck? I hate when that happens. I bet she dropped it. Right? So much effort sometimes on this and sometimes they send them that way. I can't oh even complete god. it. Makes you want to rip your hair I'm going to be taking you through a upper body circuit that I'm doing today as part so of my pretty. rehab. I do mm, have really noodle really. arms and wrists, so don't judge me mm. on anything that I'm doing right now. Okay. Um, you'll be able to see a little bit of my setup behind, which I will show you in a minute what I would 
will be doing. I like the flats. I'm lucky enough nice. to be yeah. uh, sharing that cool. flat yeah. with DVD, uh, Danielle like... Vanderdong. So she's going to be doing it with me. Oh. She's better at upper body. Don't she kind of saying it like, not, oh, yeah, not my she'll girlfriend though. Show me up throughout this, it's but yeah, I'll do it DVD called DVD. Okay, so I'm DVD. such a geek these well, days during quarantine. It helps me to be put in TikToks. So this is the upper body that I'm going to be following at the bottom and onto the next page. I'm going to give you a rundown of single arm row three times Never six e s means each <laughs> side so i've got to do both arms with this 20k kettlebell, kettlebell. i've got weighted press-ups mm. which i am terrible at this? with this 10 yeah. kg weighted vest do not oh judge when you see me do that a half kneeling that's row single arm <laughs> shoulder press so that's 10 each side three times with these 10 kg dumbbells and i will be doing that with the db bicep curl as well so yeah i don't have that many weights right now oh, kettlebell pullover out. i'll also be doing <laughs> with the dumbbells it. and i have db french DB. press three times Thanks. six so french i don't know why it's called oh, french coffee uh, if anyone knows please french. let me know french come up with everything yeah, great though for tries french coffee but I'm great, great for the upper french body oh, french toast so you will be seeing me <laughs> attempt to do these oh my god love it those kettlebells i've always been taught you should work out without shoes on because you might drop it um, they're professionals she knows what she's doing yeah. <laughs> she well, doesn't sometimes, she say that? No. oh i would be afraid i would drop a kettle on my face done. Uh, she's more done that's funny yeah, I'm surprised they're not spotting each other. However, they're professional, so they don't... No, they don't need spots unless they're doing like the... Oh, bench press kind of thing. Yeah. I think. No, like pants. French press? Yeah, why do they call it French? See what I mean? She makes this look so much easier than I do. Matt. Look at her. Look so oh. her arms. No one's messing oh, with what? them. They, someone breaks breaks in their house? Nope, they're going down. Oh. <laughs> I'm I know. Yes. Take him when I'm so cold. Oh yeah, look at social dist. Thanks so nice. much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you can use some ideas. Totally. Do something for the home. scones. <laughs> Make sure you check out the channel. Check out our vlogs and subscribe and keep watching. I love it. I love this YouTube station. Sorry, See, I ripped that out of your <laughs> Sorry. Ripped it out of my I love hair. this YouTube channel. We play strong. Yeah. Um, that was so cute. Beth has to be from the northern part of England. Uh, we should Google it. We will Google it. Um, but they, um, I was just saying at the end of that video, if someone broke into their flat or they're going down, whoever tries to break in, nope. Danielle is yeah. smacking them down. Beth is smacking them down. No one's messing with them. <laughs> what, so what did you think about that video in that couple? Um, I like them. They're cute. Um, couple who works out together. Stays together. together. Totally. <laughs> um, well, what about couples who cook together? Because in we watch the visa yeah. cooking segment in... Uh, I love Lisa watching people cook. I know. Love it. I love people watching cook who you wouldn't necessarily think, oh, it's not a, it's, they're not a cook. You know, they're not a chef. But the they're way you word things sometimes. I know. Those scones actually look really good. Now Sarah's going to want a scone or some type of bread. That's the way it works. Yeah. Especially cheese ones. You like this? They get a treat <gasps> every now and then. Cookie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what do you guys think? What do I say at the end of these videos? Tell us what we need to know about either the ship or about them individually. Yes. Um, because, I mean, the Netherlands and the English team, or the, those were the two the top five teams in the world. Netherlands were in the World Cup, English, they both play in Arsenal. I mean, like babes on babes on babes on babes. babes but first cool. soccer, then second. Then babes. babes. <laughs> I like that. Sometimes. That should be our tagline for soccer. No, then babes. Then babes. <laughs> Questions, comments down below, and we're gonna do keep doing uh, Arsenal content because we're into it now. Yeah. Between visa, That's how we do wabs, the ship unnamed yet. So yes. Questions, comments down below. Thank you so much for watching it, and we'll see you guys soon.